Hello people, in this video, let us look at anti-glaucoma drugs. Um, so basically, what are we looking at? Anti-glaucoma drugs or you can say drugs to lower the intraocular pressure. That's all, okay? So if they say it is ocular hypertension also, you can give the same drugs to reduce the intraocular pressure to prevent damage to the optic nerve. Main things you have to know here are prostaglandins, beta blockers like timolol, etc. and carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. These are the main three things you should know. Prostaglandins examples, you should know latanoprost, bimatoprost. Beta blockers, you should know uh, timolol, levobunolol, betoxolol, these three you can know. Then coming to carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, you should know brinzolamide, B-R-I-N looks like brinzolamide and dorzolamide, these two are important. Okay. So remember these uh, three categories, prostaglandins, beta blockers and carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. In these, what you should know is prostaglandin, uh, uh, prostaglandin analogs of latanoprost, bimatoprost, they increase the outflow, trabecular outflow, uvf scleral outflow, both the outflows are being increased by these and um, these are very powerful if they are uh, for open angle because the angle is open, you just have to send out, right? So, uh, for all the outflow, prostaglandins best, okay? Now, coming to beta blockers, how these work? Beta blockers are going to uh, reduce the blood supply. So, the production will drop, okay, of the aqueous humor. So, examples you should know is timolol, levobunolol and betoxolol. The problem with beta blockers is that you should not give if they are heart patients or asthmatics or uh, COPD patients because these are beta blockers, right? They can affect the heart and they can cause bronchoconstriction and all, right? So, for that, the uh, you can give betoxolol, which is beta 1 blocker. So, uh, betoxolol is fine, okay? for such people. Now, coming to carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, in this you should know, should know brinzolamide and uh, dorzolamide. Uh, these are these ca uh, can be given in children also. Now, coming to the side effects, prostaglandins, not many systemic side effects. Uh, beta blockers, like we said, uh, heart and all that, so don't give heart, uh, asthmatics and all, should not give. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, uh, brinzolamide, dorzolamide are kind of safe, okay? So, this much you should know. What should you know other than this? So, you should know other than this, you should know mannitol for acute congestive glaucoma. Mannitol is even IV, isn't it? So, mannitol you should. These are all very important ones. If angle is open, you can choose prostaglandins, uh, beta blockers, etc. Right? But if angle is closed, they are saying carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, mannitol and all will work. What do you say? Mannitol is actually the health acute congestive glaucoma. Now, let us look at the unimportant ones. A few of, not unimportant, but yeah, the ones that are not used that often looks like. Adrenaline. Again, it is a vasoconstrictor, so it will uh, reduce the secretion. It also increases the outflow, but it has a lot of other issues. Dipivifrin seems to be a prodrug of it, which could be a little better than adrenaline. But anyways, then you have brimonidine, which should not be given in children. Some CNS uh, effects they have. And then uh, meiotics like pilocarpine, uh, not used much because they cause uh, retinal detachment, etc. Et so uh, these are some things that you can know. They are not used much. So, what are the drugs you should know? Latanoprost, bimatoprost, timolol, levobunolol, betoxolol, uh, brinzolamide, dorzolamide. What happened to acetazolamide? Acetazolamide has side effects. They are not using that much. Okay. So, quickly we will ask you some questions. You answer. Timolol is what? Beta blocker. Okay. How does it, uh, what does it do? It uh, reduces the blood supply. So, it will stop the production. Very good. What about carbonic anhydrase inhibitors? Again, they will stop the production. Very good. Then. What does prostaglandin do? Increase the outflow. Very good. What type of prostaglandins? You should know this. PGF2 alpha. F2 alpha. PGF2 alpha. Uh, so, uh, F2 alpha, you remember, you just add PG before it. PGF2 alpha. So, these will have more like uh, local side effects, iris pigmentation, growth of eyelashes, etc. So, that's all for now in this video. Bye-bye.